Have you ever gone to a Linux chat room or a Linux forum or a Linux subreddit or sometimes even social media postings about Linux, some kind of Linux online group? Have you ever seen the question posed, why does Ubuntu get so much hate? Or maybe you see, why does Linux Mint get so much hate? Or not just Linux distributions, but maybe a popular free and open source program such as, why does System D get so much hate? You see these questions all the time. Why does this thing that's very popular receive so much hate? It doesn't make sense. Well, it makes perfect sense. The reason these very popular things receive a lot of hate from the public is because they're very popular things. And really that's the case with everything this is not just a linux or tech related thing anything that's popular talk about celebrities that are very popular that are always in the news they typically receive a lot of hate talk about athletes that are very popular like the ones that are really popular in their particular sport those are typically the ones that tend to receive the most hate online from people right they're the ones that typically tend to get the worst press as far as bad press and this makes total sense it's the ones that are popular people are typically punching up at them right they're the ones on top I'm, I'm trying to bring them down a little bit also as human beings we typically don't like doing the same thing over and over again repetitively like we, i can only say ubuntu is a great distribution so many times eventually i want to change the narrative and how do I change that narrative? Well, start talking bad about it while everybody else is talking good about it, right? And, and because that's going to give a lot of attention on me, right? Especially if I'm a content creator or I'm a journalist or even I'm just a regular guy posting on a Linux forum somewhere. If I really want to stir some shit up, right? Post about how Ubuntu's horrible or Linux Mint's horrible or System D's horrible, Snap Packages are horrible, what, whatever it happens to be. You know, pick some popular program or distribution or or an athlete lebron james is horrible right aaron Rodgers is horrible you, you see that all the time right you go anywhere and discuss anything the things that are the most popular are going to be the ones that receive by far the most criticism and you really see it like in sports media like when people are talking about great athletes like i was talking about lebron james lebron james gets a lot of negative press for no real reason on his part because he's not like he's out there doing bad things right? but people like to talk about how bad of a player lebron james is which obviously he's not a bad player but he's been in the league in the nba for 20 years right and you can't sit there for 20 straight years as a sports journalist and say lebron james is the greatest basketball player ever year after year after year after year it gets monotonous right you gotta break it up at some point you gotta take a shot at that guy and that's unfortunate and but once you know that this is the way the world works and you, you quit taking a lot of that stuff seriously. Like, I have never taken any of that anti-Ubuntu hate seriously. You know, I, I don't even use Ubuntu these days. I haven't in many years. So I, I used Ubuntu in the past. I use Ubuntu on servers sometimes. But regardless of what I think personally about Ubuntu, the fact that so many people are trying to tear it down, I, I already know what that's about is because Ubuntu it's a very, very popular Linux distribution, probably the most popular, especially on the desktop. So people are going to try to tear it down. The same thing with those that criticize a popular Linux distribution like Linux Mint. The same with the System D haters. I've never taken any of the System D hate seriously because even though, you know, people have legit criticisms on all of this stuff. People can legitimately criticize Canonical or Linux Mint or System D or whatever it happens to be. And they have real arguments, right? But their real arguments that's not really the reason they're typically doing this, right? It's a lot of psychology involved. And typically, it's just that mindset. As I, I see something on top, and I, I want to punch up at it. I want to bring it down. And a lot of times, they're just wanting to put the spotlight on themselves because this fantastic piece of software everybody else seems to like. You know what? I'm going to stand out from the crowd. I'm going to be that nonconformist and tell everybody how much I hate it. And I can relate to this personally because I've got firsthand experience with this as a video content creator I remember when I first started my YouTube channel in the early days of the channel I put videos out there didn't have very many subscribers didn't get a lot of views on the videos didn't get a lot of comments but all of the comments every single one of them was a positive comment 
genuinely positive people that were excited about the, the content, wanted more, that were encouraging messages for the most part. Then you start gaining a following, right? You become kind of popular. People are talking about you in the community, whatever niche you happen to be in. For me, obviously, it's about Linux and free and open source software, my videos. And once people kind of know who you are and are talking about you, all of a sudden, you get all kinds of negative comments, right? That's when you start receiving all of this hate and that's okay. That's actually a good thing. It never really has bothered me because I know how this works. It's okay to be attacked. When you're being attacked for this kind of stuff, that means you're one of the top dogs, right? <laughs> because if you, you had no popularity at all, nobody would care and you would receive none of that hate. And the people out there spreading that hate or that negativity, that negative message about you, that's a good thing. That's a positive thing. It's like the old saying, bad press is good press. You know, any press is good press. Basically, bad press or not, as long as they're talking about you, at least they're talking about you, right? And that's the same in all of this, whether it's uh, tech related, whether it's, you know, content creation, whether you're an athlete, whether you're a movie star, whether you're a rock star, whatever it happens to be. If people are talking about you, that's a good thing. Now, where all of this becomes a problem is... Some people are not prepared to receive that kind of negativity or, or that vitriol, that hate that comes with popularity. It's one of those things that many people, as I, yeah, I see it with YouTubers, Linux YouTubers, or just YouTubers in general, where they receive a lot of negative criticism and you can tell it's wearing them down because they focus more on the haters than the positive people in their comment section, right? And you see this often with celebrities, celebrities that do something dumb, and then all of a sudden they receive a ton of negative press and you can see it affects them. They are mean-spirited and nasty on social media and they gotta respond to these negative criticisms. No, 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 that, that's the wrong way to go about it, right? You're going about all of this the wrong way. Just ignore the haters, right? Uh, it, they, the haters are a, a natural part of this kind of thing. And the problem with this is that a lot of these people that gain popularity, or that they be some sort of celebrity, sports figure, a popular YouTuber, or maybe they created a really popular piece of software, a really popular Linux distribution, whatever it happens to be, they gain some popularity, some notoriety, if you will, and they didn't realize what they signed up for. You signed up for this when you decided you were going to try to do something to gain a little popularity. So I think it's really unfortunate that you see some of these people that eventually they just wear down. They wear down mentally, physically, emotionally, you know, all the, the hate, the negativity kind of gets to them. And I think the only reason it gets to them is they just don't realize how the game is played, right? They take this way too personally. They take all the negative comments way too personally. Once you realize what it is, I don't take it personally. You shouldn't take it personally. And then all the questions, the weird questions you see online. Why does everybody hate Ubuntu? Or you see a, a lot of people actually hating on Ubuntu in Linux forums. You don't take any of that serious. I, I don't even read that stuff because I know 99% of that stuff is, is just, just a waste of my time to even read because it's more about, hey, let me hate on this thing that's popular. You see it, especially in recent years, a lot of people love hating on Manjaro. Because Manjaro is probably by far the most popular Arch-based Linux distribution on the planet, right? So it's got a ton of users, and those users really love it. So a lot of people really, really love Manjaro, which naturally the haters have to come in. That, that's just the way it goes, right? And this has always been the way it is, and it will always be the way it is. Peace, guys.